So I've got harmonies in all the spots where I want it in the verse. What I need to do next is cut out all of the areas where there's no harmony. So I'm gonna hide my flex, grab the scissors tool, and I'm gonna cut out all of the areas that don't have any harmony. Now that it's over, don't tell me that it's over. Don't turn this ship around and tell me that you can't give one more day. Don't ever tell me why. Don't you ever tell me why. Cause I don't want, I don't want to know. So for the harmonies, I'll typically pull out any sibilance boost and I'll actually end up scooping out quite a bit of the highs because the high frequencies tend to collide with the lead vocals more and cause some phase issues. I'll also scoop out a bit more of the lows, so I'm getting more of a mid-range emphasis for the harmonies. I'll also pull the harmonies down in the mix quite a bit, and I'll tend to pan them off to one side or the other, again, just so they don't collide with the lead vocals. Now that you're sober, don't tell me that it's over. Don't turn this ship around and tell me that you can't give one more day. Don't ever tell me why, don't you ever tell me why. Now, if you want to go nuts, you can actually create even more harmonies and stack multiple harmonies on top of each other. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce in place these four regions by selecting all four of them and pressing Control B. And I'll just call this Harmony 1. And I'm going to make sure I bypass the effects plugins. So that's going to create a printed backing vocal with all of the flex edits printed into this new region. So for my additional harmonies, I'm not gonna use these last two regions, so I'll just delete those, but I'm gonna shift the harmonies on these two regions. So let me go ahead and show flex again. And earlier we were talking about thirds versus sixths and how a third down is essentially a sixth up. So what I'll do is I'll take all of these notes that were harmonized down a third and I'm gonna move them up an octave. So now they're harmonized up a sixth from the original melody. So there's a high six in there, and there's a low third in there. That it's over. Let me just blend in the third a bit more, pull out the sixth. That it's over. So I can pan one off to the right, one off to the left, and create this nice big stereo image with these harmonies. I'll do the same thing over here. I'll pull all of these up an octave. Can't give one more day. Don't. So off screen, I added some reverb and chorus to all of the vocals. I've adjusted their levels and pan, and I actually broke up the harmonies into three separate tracks so I could control their levels and pan individually. So here's what this sounds like with everything in. Now that it's over, don't tell me that it's over. Don't turn this ship around and tell me that you can't give one more day. Don't ever tell me why. Don't you ever tell me why. Cause I don't want, I don't want to know. So when you create artificial backing harmonies this way, you have to be really careful about how you mix them into the song. You don't want them to be too loud because if they're too noticeable, they'll start to sound fake and robotic. If you just tuck them in under the lead vocal, they can really help to support and thicken the vocal at certain points. 